you know, they see a girl and they're like, really? And then I come in here, you know, I'm a nurse by night and then diesel mechanic by day. So I just love it. With high school kids, I know there's a lot of kids that are going to a four-year college, getting a getting a degree in computers and stuff, but we still need the tech side because as long as there's moving parts, somebody's got to be able to fix it. No matter if it's a diesel engine on a, in a truck, brakes in a rear end, front end, dry shafts, we're always going to have to have somebody to be able to fabricate repair f just a mechanic not so much a technician but a mechanic you need to be really mechanically inclined and really into learning learning something different because it's i mean it's never the same thing twice not that that's kind of that's kind of what kept me here because i'm i get bored easy i don't like repetition you know what i mean that just eats me alive. I want something new to challenge, to challenge you, you know what I mean? And that, that's what you get in that garage. Very rare with the same diagnosis comes to that shop. You gotta figure it out. And it, it's a challenge, it is. The industry's changed so much with technology. Um, you know, now we have our, our after treatment systems that are on diesel engines now. And you know, that's, it's made the, it's made the industry have to deal with a certain amount of emissions so all the stuff that we're adding to engines to to meet that um, has also brought on more issues if you will i mean it's just more drivability stuff um, we're keeping the emissions down so all the components that are involved in that system you know that's that's the biggest issue is the the electronics and the after treatment systems and, it, and let's just don't call it an issue i mean it is it's a career you know we learn how to work on them we learn how to understand how they work and we fix them. So that's been the biggest thing for your shortage. I mean, you know, you have great technicians that's been doing this 30 and 40 years, but they're working on older technology and they're great at it. And it's hard, it's hard to make that turn. The computer can actually get you to the final step closer and a lot faster on finding what's actually wrong with the truck. I mean, if they, been trained for like the mission systems and the DF systems and the, the, the overall electronic side of it. It's, it's a major a computer. Like if they can work on the good at really pulling up computer diagnostics on them, that's a big help. I just have probably one per shift that's actually really good at it. it it's, it's twofold. We here offer a con ed program at night, so we have a lot of uh, a lot of technicians that are working daily that come in to, to get the continuing education, which um, we just wrapped up some after treatment stuff this last go around. We've got uh, some retired military guys coming in that are, you know, maybe a little bit older than we got right out of high school. We also have high school students that are taking the program. I was in high school before I came here, but while I was in my last years of high school, I decided to go ahead and start this program. That way I'm already a few steps in and I can be able to finish faster. One of the main reasons that I chose this program and this career is because it's not always the same thing, it's something different each day. You're not always doing the same job or you know the same kind of trucks or anything and taking things apart and putting them back together, using your mind, most of the time it's just something new.